Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can add an update item from one SharePoint list to another SharePoint list using Power Automate. This video is specifically created when you are trying to actually update one master list from a different source list or you can say different child list. And in that case, how you can actually update item based on a specific internal ID of that particular list item. In our previous video, I have uh, achieved this using the ID column we have into our SharePoint list. But in this case, we're going to use the internal identifier for that specific list item. So let's just talk about that, how we can do that. This is my add and update source list and uh, this is add and update destination list. Whenever I add new item here, item should be created here. And if I update any of the existing item, an item should be updated here as well. I'll go into my Power Automate, try to create an instant flow. Name my flow as an update list item flow, SharePoint. When a item is created or modified will be a trigger point. Select the site address, add an update source list. Next step will be, will be first creating a create item action. Again, site address, here list name will be destination list. Once you have that, as you can see, title and source ID, which is our destinations column. So this source ID, I have created a column as a single line of text. So title will be our title and source ID in this case will not be an ID. It will be an internal identifier of this particular list item. So once we save this one, we'll go to our source, try to create new item, say test four, created, we'll go to Power Automate, wait for our flow to run, flow ran successfully, we'll go to our destination list, as you can see, the item has been created here, as you can see the source ID, it is a combination of our source list name, plus the ID column ID as well as some uh, unique characters. So it is a unique one and this is useful when you're trying to actually update a one master list from a different uh, source list uh, because in that case the default ID column which we have will be duplicated but this will be a unique one. I'll go to my Power Automate again. We'll write an uh, action for update item now. So for that one, get items. It will be get items, not item. Select the list again and get item from which list? From our destination list to actually compare whether the existing item that we're going to update is already exists there or not. So in our previous video, I have discussed this one as well, but uh, here we are going to add one more step, which is the filter query to actually get only that particular item which we're going to update. So how we're going to do that, as you can see, we have a column source ID. So in filter, I'll write a source ID here. Equal colon source ID equal to this source list item internal identifier, which is this. Save. And now next step is add a control here. Condition. In the choose value, go to expression, write length. And what we are checking using length is the get items value. 
So why we are using that? Because this get item will return only one item because we are filtering. Uh, we have applied a filter there. Once the filter return an item, and if the length of that item is equal to zero, that means uh, we have to create an item. If it is one, that means we have to update an items, right? Create item we have already created. We'll just drag and drop it here. And for update item, we're going to write a command. Update item. List name will be our destination list. And here you can see the ID column is there. So which ID we have to provide here? And it's basically this get items ID, which is of this get items filter result. The item we have, we have to provide that ID because we have to update that particular item. And once you provide that ID, it's automatically put this into apply to each, which is OK. And uh, now you can set the title. So the title will be not the get items title. It will be create item titles and same for the source ID will be identifier of create item. Click save. Go to source list and uh, try to update the one, the latest we have created. Test four updated go to flow wait this flow to run our flow failed it says bad request into our okay I think I did some mistakes here into get items. The filter should be inside the code, the identifier. I did a mistakes. Let's just save this one. I run the field one again. Now I can see it is successful and it went to the false state so it will update an item as you can see into my destination list it has updated the item the test for updated which we have mentioned so likewise if i create uh, my items here like test uh, five test six Test seven, I have created three item and we'll see into our destination list then. Flow runs for all these three items. As you can see, the destination list has these three new item. Also one thing to remember, uh, as you can see, I have created these test one, two, three, before I have created the flow, so these items are not here. And in case I make any updates here in this particular test one updated, it will create a new item for us in this particular list because it was previously not here. So when you update, it will create this as an, a new item and uh, later on if you update this one it will update this one as well so that's the way you can actually uh, add and update your secondary list using power automate i hope you like this video if you do like don't forget to subscribe to our tech thank you